welcome to the morning show. Good morning, Andy. Good morning. Uh, welcome back. No, welcome back to you. Thank you. Where were you? I, I was sick. Really? Yeah. You must have been really sick. I was. What'd you have? Uh, COVID. COVID-19? I'm not sure what number it was, but I would put it at 10. COVID-10? COVID-10. Really? Apparently it's the new strain, Ooh. I was told. And I was also told I was lucky it was the new strain. Who told you that? Uh, Dr. Bullock. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. No, Dr. Dyke. Okay. Yeah. Either way. Both great doctors. Yeah. Beautiful. So, so yeah, welcome. we didn't see you for a while. Welcome back. And I, for three and a half years, I avoided it. I worked hard to avoid it. You're um, mad. Uh, you're mad that you got COVID. I'm Who are you mad furious. at? Who are you mad at specifically? Doctors? No, not doctors. Who are you mad? You well, I was mad. First of all, I was mad at the, uh, at the healthcare <laughs> because they were saying, well, uh, the uh, vaccine, just wait, wait till fall and then get the vaccine. And I was mad that they were doing that. Mm. Um, and I still am. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm mad at the people who uh, gave me COVID. Do you know who it was? I've got it narrowed down. <laughs> yeah, I've got it narrowed down too. Yeah. <laughs> I've got it narrowed down as well. So, well, glad you're back uh, feeling better. I'm actually uh, tired myself mm -hmm. from watching all the Ryder Cup. I haven't been able to catch up. And then last night I watched a little of the Monday Night Football game. Did you watch any of it? Uh, I was afraid that Taylor Swift might show up. Yeah, me so. too. Uh, well, it would have been better than the Giants. The Giants suck. They mm -hmm. uh, played worst, worst team in the NFL. two home games this season so far and they've scored a total of three points for those fans and uh, last night their quarterback was sacked 11 times hmm. well there are a lot of bad teams in the nfl one team lost uh 70 to 20 20 yeah, yeah that was a couple weeks uh, ago and the ratings for the jets um kansas city game on sunday uh through the roof this the most watched non-Super Bowl game in NFL history. Mm. Isn't that amazing? Mm. I yeah. don't like it. Uh, 17 times NBC put uh, Taylor Swift on camera. Brandon, who do you think's better looking, Taylor Swift <laughs> or Brittany Mahomes? Uh, I, I do like Taylor Swift. I know you're not a big Taylor Swift fan. Mm. Okay, we've got the, the, the younger boys upstairs saying <laughs> Brittany Mahomes and then the older fellas saying Taylor Swift. Yeah. I would say Brittany and Patrick are Brittany has very bad RBF. What's RBF? Resting face. Oh. <laughs> I heard you yesterday say she wasn't hot. I, I just said she, Taylor Swift is not hot. Mm -hmm. Well, she's Getting dated uh, everyone in pro sports. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not true. Well, it's all, it's, it's a show. It's all one big show. It's all a show. It's all one big show. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, we've got um, the Late Night Was Back, uh, Late Night TV. Did mm -hmm. you watch any of that? No, I can't I, stand I that late. No, uh, but the strike ended. Let's see, UAW uh, still on strike. Uh, and here's the latest. Uh, Detroit casino workers have voted mm -hmm. 99% to authorize a strike against the uh, Detroit casinos, MGM, Motor City, and Hollywood Casino. Did you know that Greektown changed their name to Hollywood Casino? When? Uh, in May. Really? Yeah. The so, same folks that own that one in Toledo must uh, be. You know, I don't know why the people in uh, Detroit aren't up in arms over this. Uh, it was named after uh, a very historic uh, area of Detroit, and uh, now they've abandoned that name. Hmm. So, well, that would cause problems. The uh, casino strike, probably more so than the UAW. Yeah, I would think uh, because that's where everyone spends their money. Well, that's the. It's a huge industry. The um, union says the Detroit casino industry generated two point twenty-seven billion uh, in the last year. Mm. It's high. It's never been higher. Uh, the, the pandemic after the pandemic. It's exploded, and all these Detroit casinos have online versions mm -hmm. uh, of their uh, gaming as well. Yeah, you can lose your money uh, from the comfort of your own bed. That's uh, mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun. It's out of control. Yeah, it is out of control. Mm -hmm. um, let's go outside. Let's see what it looks ah. like outside on our Tina cam. Mm -hmm. 
Good morning, JTV. It's Tina again from Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More. Just coming to tell you that it's going to be a beautiful day today, so get outside. One of the few beautiful days left. Uh, definitely not sweatshirt weather this week, Tina. It's uh, actually... Uh, Tina taped that really early this morning. Oh, okay. It was, cold, it was so. it's 59 now. Yesterday's high 83. Today we could get to 85, and our record set in 1953 is 89, so we will be flirting with a record wow. high today. Wow. How about that? Beautiful weather. Visit Hometown Heating, Cooling, and more. Thanks to uh, Tina and Roger and everyone at Hometown for uh, helping us bring you today's show and weather. I did what you did. I watched a lot of the Ryder Cup mm -hmm. over the weekend from Italy, mm -hmm. where your brother was. He was. He, uh, they brought me back an item. Oh, me too. What'd you get? I got a, well, Jason paid for it, oh. so it's probably a little nicer than what you got. <laughs> really? It's a team-issued um, USA quarter zip. Oh, I didn't get any Ryder Cup stuff, but I did get uh, Bread. spaghetti, oh. <laughs> um, bucatini, Italian spices, and olive oil. So I was very you happy You think they got that. that at the airport? No, I think they went to a, a cute little shop in, uh, you know, Naples. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. I, they left the price tag on mine. Oh, I, it's in lira. I can't tell. Yeah, so <laughs> mine was expensive. Very expensive. So looking forward to wearing that once mm -hmm. it gets uh, cool out. Mm. It's time for Love Living in Jackson. Presented by Heather Herndon and the entire Herndon team at Howard Hanna Real Estate Services. And we love living in Jackson because of the shows at the Jackson College Potter Center. One of Jackson's prominent features is the George Potter Center. Bart, do you know when it was built? Um, I'm going to say 1975. 1976, and mm. it's the most versatile and complete performing arts complex in the area. Three theaters are home to the JSO, Potter Center shows, along with local productions, and Jackson College vocal music department and band performances. Greetings from Los Angeles on October 7th at the Potter Center. Mm -hmm. Thanks to, ooh, there's David Phelps. David It'll Phelps. be October 8th with uh, special guest Mickey Bell. Did you go to Sawyer Brown? I wish I could have, but I was sick. Oh, I, yeah, I that's right. I couldn't go anywhere. Uh, visit jccmi.edu slash Potter Center to buy tickets uh, for the shows. Thanks yeah. to Heather and the entire Herndon team at Howard Hanna Real Estate Services. The symphony will be playing a piece composed by Jackson's own Marcus Norris this uh, Saturday night. Very so cool. one more reason to go see the JSO at the Potter Center. Did you know that uh, George Potter had his own seat in the music hall for the entire, uh, all the years? I would have too. Yeah. If my name was on the uh, outside of the wall. Mm -hmm. And Mrs. Potter, you will see her working events at very the good. Uh, Potter Center. Very, very good. Yeah. Uh, Art Walk is coming up this Friday in downtown Jackson from 4 to 7 p.m. Join us for some beautiful art and great shopping in downtown Jackson. And uh, there'll be a ton of local artists at local businesses down here. Great opportunity to uh, meet some artists and shop locally and take advantage of the uh, walk-in booze. Mm. You can walk around with uh, your beer now. What'd you call it? The walk-in booze? Walk-in booze. Walk, walk booze. around booze. Walk around booze. Mm -hmm. You know I like walk around. When I'm out of town, I like a walk around. Coffee. Mimosa. I like walk around coffee. I like a walk around mimosa. <laughs> Well, people are taking advantage of it. The uh, social district in Jackson, a big hit. And it's pretty uh, liberal where you can walk around with a drink. And here in, J in JTV, on Friday night, we will have the uh, artist who created the, uh, the mural. Awesome. Zach Snyder. Recently engaged. Yes. Zach Snyder. So uh, stop by and tell him congratulations. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it's already October. We are at week seven of high school football, and this week live, we will be at Michigan Center, Napoleon 6-0 at Michigan Center, 5-1, coverage 645 Friday night. Michigan and Center, home of the walking taco. I don't know. Yeah. Really? They yeah. have a very robust concession stand. The walking taco. Mm. Um, Do you watch that uh, Trump lawyer? Uh, the Trump lawyer, Which or excuse one? me, the judge. <laughs> the judge. Did you see this? Yeah, I saw the Trump judge. 
Which the guy's one? crazy. No, <laughs> the one that is. Let's take a look. <laughs> That's the guy I want. <laughs> run it back. Let's run it back until I, I get sick of it. I would want um, him for the judge. The judge? <laughs> so if you're if you're Trump and you see the judge, are you like this? I like that judge. Yeah. Brandon, if you get arrested for armed robbery, that's the guy you want. Yeah, that's the that's judge. Right. You want that judge. Can we do it one more time? You know, it's an. <laughs> I just can't get enough of this guy. Donald. <laughs> he looks like a New Yorker. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Mm. Well, you know, uh, the former president uh, attacked that judge, not physically, but verbally. Well, I wonder why. <laughs> it doesn't look like he's taking his job too seriously, mm. if you uh, had to ask me. But, oh well, that's funny. Mm. Hey, that Ella Sharp Fall Festival is Sunday. Is it the sugaring and shearing? No, that's spring. Oh. The fall festival is just the fall festival. Oh, okay. I always get those confused. It's back. You know, I went away for a while. Mm -hmm. um, we had <clears throat> one of the uh, executive directors at the museum. I think there have been like 12. And uh, she canceled like everything. Fall fest, sugaring and shearing, all the Christmas, everything. Canceled it all. What? Yeah. Well, that's going to change. But it's been back. The fall that's festival. That's going to change yes. because we love a nice fall festival. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jeremy Fru, the new uh, executive director, uh, was on our show yesterday afternoon, and he's been on the job. This is day seven really? in his new job, so he's very excited. So what we might see, you won't believe this, we might see the museum passing out free, free uh, uh, ice cream at, uh, on Saturday uh, events. What? Yeah, it could be. Could well, be. that would be cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Just uh, excuse me, I'm looking for some paperwork Well, while you here. do that, uh, yesterday the University of Michigan unveiled uh, President, uh, <clears throat> President, President Son Ono? Ono? Santo Ono. Santa, Santa Ono's uh, renovated house, <clears throat> the President's house at U of M. Uh, they spent um, over $11 million renovating the house, and now it's beautiful. It looks beautiful. I think we might have a picture or two. I doubt it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, all right, we'll look later. Oh, here's that thing I was looking for. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. It's time for our Extreme Dodge scoreboard, brought to you by the University of Michigan President's House. No, brought to you by Extreme Dodge, our Extreme Dodge scoreboard. Visit Extreme. The new uh, exit is open. Their building is up and running. You can grab coffee, cookies, and... Uh, Pop while you wait. Here's some scores. Volleyball, Jackson 2, East Lansing 0. And Jackson 2, Lansing Everett 0. And boys soccer, Quincy nipped Michigan Center 4-3. to three. Spencer Berkey Powell had three goals for the Cardinals. Hillsdale Academy 4, Grass Lake 3. Ipsy Community 2, Jackson 0. And boys tennis, Jackson Trash Columbia 7-1. Congratulations to the Vikings. There's uh, photos and more scores on our website right now, jtv.tv. Thank you to the wonderful Jeff Steers. Here's what's coming up on deck. Wow. Holy cow, look at all that stuff. Should I even read it? I can't. No. My daughter's got a volleyball game today. Everyone's playing volleyball Everyone's tonight. playing volleyball. Everyone's playing volleyball. It's going to be hot running cross country, you know. How about Lumen Christie up to Shrine? Up to Shrine for hmm. the uh, volleyball game, Royal Oak Shrine. On uh, Sunday, the Minneapolis uh, Marathon was canceled because it was so hot. Can you believe that? It was going to be near 90 degrees, and they said it's not safe for the runners. Hmm. So uh, those running cross country, be, uh, get uh, plenty of water, stay hydrated, uh, stay in the shade and be safe. Our show today is brought to you by the Michigan Department of Corrections. Visit MDOC today. They are hiring right now. Great pay, immediate openings, and uh, they will even pay you while you train. Not just corrections officers, but healthcare and mental health professionals, food service workers, and more. Michigan.gov 
slash MDOC jobs. Hmm. Did you know we have a ban on banning plastic bags? Uh, several years ago, the legislature said local towns and cities cannot ban plastic bags. Well, now in the legislature, there's a, a bill to ban the ban of plastic bags so that local cities AKA Ann Arbor could ban plastic bags. Well, then how will people get their groceries delivered? Uh, we'd have to go back to paper. Oh, that's not going to happen. I, I prefer paper. Really? Yeah. The paper, uh, the plastic bags, all the, all paper, the items. Paper makes it feel like it's a nicer product you're pulling out of it, right. but it's the same. I like the paper bags with the handles. Oh, those are nice. Yeah, nicer yeah, stores. Those are nice. Those are in Ann Arbor. But the plastic bags, uh, the stuff in the bags, uh, fall all over and uh, bread and chips get crushed. And by the way, Frito-Lay for some reason is selling bags of crushed chips now. Yeah, to put them in the tacos or on Must your salad. Must be, because that's every bag I've had lately mm -hmm. is they're all crushed. I don't know what's happening. Hmm. Uh, we do have the president uh, of University of Michigan's house now. Uh, three cherry trees were planted in the front yard. Gorgeous. Uh, this house, 183 years old, is it on, it's on Barton Hills, yeah? What? Is it on Barton Hills? No, I think it's on the campus. What? Yeah, I mean, it's right there in the middle I of everything. I don't think so, Brandon, do you? <clears throat> I've never seen that. Steinway in the library. Beautiful, grand Steinway. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I think the president of the university should live in style. They're the president of the university. Yeah. Where, do you want, where do you want them mm -hmm. to live? They need a house befitting their multi-million dollar salary and the multi-million dollar stress of their job. Yeah, that's true. Uh, who's on the show today? We've got a wonderful show lined up. We're going to get things started with Dr. Kelly Bogue from Community Hearing Center right after this quick break. MVP Sports has been providing the Jackson area with the finest custom apparel and select promotional items since 2006. We can take your corporate event, employee appreciation day, or golf outing to the next level with expertly crafted shirts, hats, jackets, coolers, and even golf bags. As always, you can count on MVP for all your sports and school apparel too. No matter what your needs, MVP Sports has the equipment, knowledge, and expertise to make sure every order comes out just right. Whether it's embroidery or screen print, with outstanding customer service and design services, we make outfitting your crew or team a breeze. Stop in today and let's turn your ideas into reality. MVP Sports Store, 5000 Ann Arbor Road in Jackson. I know pain. The one that starts at your ankles, settling in your back, keeping you from competing. Sydney, 2000. Preparing to compete, my leg wouldn't move. My dream interrupted. The team chiropractor knew exactly what to do. I went from out of the game to in competition in three days. Today, I am a chiropractor. Relieving the pain, enhancing performance. Go to beyondthepain.org to find a chiropractor or learn how to become one. To perform your best, high school athletes and their families can receive a complimentary consultation by visiting docpen.com. Five stars all rise for To Kill a Mockingbird, unmissable and unforgettable. A mockingbird for our moment. Beautiful, elegiac, satisfying, even exhilarating. A New York Times critic's pick. Mockingbird is now the most successful American play in Broadway history. All rise for Aaron Sorkin's great play. Richard Thomas is Atticus Finch in Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird. Coming to Wharton Center October 3rd through the 8th. Tickets on sale now at whartoncenter.com or 1-800-WHARTON. If you're looking for a high quality, affordable alternative to the emergency room, then come to IEP Urgent Care's new location in Jackson. It's the same great ER physicians who have been providing care through our local hospitals since 2008, but now with a new location to serve you better. Our ER trained providers believe believe high quality care is for everyone. So we work with all insurances, including Medicaid and Medicare. Come see us on East Michigan Ave. Our show today is brought to you by Vermeulen's Home Furnishings. They're in their third generation of being family owned and operated. Thank you to Vermeulen's. 
Jackson College has a pumpkin carving opportunity. Bart, listen carefully. The Positive Aging Pumpkin Fest. It's Wednesday tomorrow from 1.30 to 3.30. There will be uh, cider, coffee, water, and donuts provided, and it is uh, brought to you by Wellwise. So uh, call Jackson College and figure out how to get a pumpkin going. There's no pumpkin carving that will be going on at this thing. What? There's no pumpkin carving. That it's really? Not, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I told you it'd be a crap <laughs> All right, I thought there would be. But there will be cider and donuts. Okay. So. <laughs> Wonderful. Joining us now from community oh. here. What? Nothing. Oh. I did not say it. Did you hear anything? <laughs> I heard some, Brandon said something. No, nope. I think I, the only important thing is the cider and donuts. So I think good. so. Uh, we're happy to welcome to the show from Community Hearing Center, Dr. Kelly Bogue. Good morning. Hey guys. Good morning. How good morning. are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. I'm great, and I can hear well because, or good. I can hear good. I oh, can hear yeah, well either one. because of Dr. Kelly Bogue. Me too. <laughs> you know why? <laughs> why? Because you pulled a tarantula out of my ear once. I mean, not quite oh, that yeah. dramatic, but <laughs> it wasn't we that did a little cleaning procedure. We did a little cleaning. I remember that. Yeah. So I'd I, be terrified if it was a tarantula, to oh be honest. Oh, my God. I was, terrified in, to the I was <laughs> terrified in general, but people need to have their ears looked at. They do. It's important. Very important. Yes. You don't know you have stuff sitting. Right. Well, and they don't necessarily know if things have gotten built up in there either. Right. You know, so if you're somebody who uses Q-tips, for instance, you know, we all hear the, the phrase, don't put anything smaller than your elbow in your ear, but... You know, people still do, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the concern with that is we don't know what's built up in the meantime. Right. So, you know, if you're putting something in there that's potentially pushing it in deeper and causing an impaction, that mm -hmm. can be a problem. And it can almost create like an earplug type effect. Sometimes we get that out and people are like, oh my goodness, you know, yeah. I feel like my hearing has gone back to normal. That is not typically the case when somebody comes in with a hearing problem, but mm -hmm. it is nice if that's mm -hmm. something that's able to resolve their issues. Yeah. You know, uh, my watch, and I didn't know this was a feature of my watch until I was somewhere where it was really loud and it sent me a warning that I'm in a loud environment that yeah. it could be damaging my hearing. Yeah, those are really nice features. And even on the phone, when we look at like the volume bar, that's something that we always counsel people to use. If you are listening to music, for instance, mm -hmm. if you're streaming it to your headphones, try not to exceed into that area where it typically goes from like blue is generally kind of a safe area or green and then into an orange or a red, um, especially for longer periods of time because it's giving you this information that you're probably getting into an area that you're going to mm -hmm. potentially cause damage, especially with continued long-term exposure. What are some of the uh, environments that we should uh, be uh, either avoiding or be careful while we're in uh, to protect our hearing? So when you think about like the summer, you know, for a lot of people going to concerts is one that's mm -hmm. big. Um, obviously concerts can be very, very noisy and they're okay to attend, but you want to make sure that you're using hearing protection in those settings. If you're thinking about working outdoors, you know, a lot of people are mowing the lawn or using power tools mm -hmm. um, and, you know, even into the winter using a snowblower. Those kind of activities are things that we sometimes take for granted for how loud they are. But again, routine exposure or if you have a large lawn and you're mowing for several hours, those things are going to contribute to hearing loss. Mm -hmm. It's one of the reasons why we see more people have hearing loss as we get older mm -hmm. is you have more accumulated exposures to all mm -hmm. these different types of noises. So making sure that you're wearing protection in the those environments is important. You know, obviously for people that work around noise, that's a big one too. And, mm -hmm. you know, generally there's requirements for OSHA, making sure that people are having to wear hearing protection mm -hmm. when they get mm -hmm. to a certain point, but it's not bad to do it preemptively just to try to ward that off. A lot of patients yeah. will say, I never realized how important my hearing was until I lost it. And you know, that's true for a lot of things. And there are a lot of people going around struggling and it does impact uh, not, not just your overall health, but your lifestyle because you, oh, yeah. you, you kind of maneuver your life to avoid safe or to go to safe situations where you know mm -hmm. it's not going to affect you. Yeah, most definitely. You know, and there's so many different co occurring conditions with hearing loss that people don't always realize you may be more likely to have hearing loss because of some of these different situations. Mm -hmm. um, and they may be things that are preventative. You know, when we do a hearing exam for folks, we talk about um, at the end of the exam their test results, and I go over things that we can do to try and help prevent hearing loss from happening. Even for people that already have loss, we want to be cognizant of those things. One of those examples is medications. So mm. there are lots of medications that have side effects that can contribute to hearing loss, mm. tinnitus, you know, that ringing, buzzing, yep. abnormal sound in your ears, balance problems. And a lot of them are super common things, certain blood pressure medications. Mm 
water pills, NSAIDs. Those are things that a lot of people take, and it doesn't mean you will have that as a side effect, but it's something to be aware of, especially because if you were on heavier doses of them, like mm. higher doses of painkillers, for instance, mm. if you started to notice, hey, you know, I have ringing in my ears, if you bring that up to your physician, maybe it's something that they can modify the dosage or try something different. And if we do it soon enough, there's a better chance of you having reversal of those symptoms. Hmm. If you're on it for a long time, you know, if you've been on a water pill for 40 years and now you have tinnitus, it's probably not gonna go away wow. just because you go off of it. So being hmm. cognizant of those changes and even just other elements of our health that make a big difference. Anything that changes our vascular system, things that change blood flow can negatively impact our hearing. Is hearing loss always gradual? No, not always gradual, but most of the time, yes. You know, if somebody has a sudden change in their hearing, that's a big red flag. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when you have a sudden loss, it generally happens in one ear. Sometimes it can be both. But we, again, always tell patients, sudden loss equals let us know right away. We want to get you in typically within you know, 24 to 48 hours, even if that means I need to stay late to see you. Mm -hmm. Because if mm -hmm. it is potentially related to an infection in the inner ear, you need to start treatment right away. The window is narrow. You only have about four weeks after experiencing a sudden loss to receive medical intervention in order to potentially reverse some of those symptoms. Mm -hmm. And ideally, the sooner the better. If we can get you in within the first week to two weeks, you're going to have better outcomes. If you get outside of that, you're probably looking at a permanent change mm -hmm. to your hearing. Wow. So most people uh, would be uh, saying, oh, it's gonna get better if I just let it go. Yes. But it's the well, opposite. that's what we don't want to think, right? We don't want yeah. to think, oh, it's probably wax, right? Or it's my sinuses, or maybe I've had lots of ear infections in the past. Um, you know, it could be those things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, hopefully that is the case, that it's not mm -hmm. something more serious. But if you experience that, you know, we want you to, you know, come in and let us see, which is another reason why it's good to have a baseline. We want to update your hearing test from time to time so that, you know, if you came in in 2023 and we saw where things were, and then a couple of years down the road, you said, hey, I'm having trouble with my hearing. I, I get you in and we see you've had a, an, a, a substantial change that would be outside the realm of just kind of a, a normal mm -hmm. sort of decline that we would expect with exposure. We want to make sure that you are referred appropriately. So. Yeah, and there's other reasons to not wait because I know we've talked about this many times. People put it off and put it off until they can't stand it anymore, mm -hmm. or their spouse. Well, their can't spouse stand can't stand yes. it anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that's a big one, right? So yeah. family members, you know, whether it's your spouse, you know, it's your adult children, yeah. even motivated by not hearing grandchildren's voices. Those are things that you know a lot of times will encourage people mm -hmm. to get in. Um, they're they're positive motivators if somebody else in your life is helping you with that. But there's so many different things that correlate with untreated hearing loss, even things like for working folks. Um, the ability to advance in your career. You know, mm -hmm. I've had lots of people tell me I was not able to hear in meetings, and so I couldn't contribute. I had good ideas, or somebody would ask me something, I'd kind of just, you know, nod mm -hmm. and go along with it. Mm -hmm. um, and if you aren't able to hear those things, then you can't, you know, progress further. Let's take a look at this uh, bar graph here. Explain to us some of these numbers and, and what they mean. So if somebody is seeking treatment for their hearing loss. These are some of the things that we see are most important to them when they are looking at um, trying to treat the loss. If they're looking at devices, they want, you know, typically the most important thing people are wanting to address is their ability to understand conversation and noise. Um, that is also paired with conversation and quiet. You know, conversations are always going to be the top of the list and reliability is at number two as well, which is mm. not a surprise, right? You want something mm -hmm. that's going to be working consistently for you. So even though there's a lot of stuff on the list, some of the things that um, we really want to focus on are making sure that people can do the best they possibly can when they're in those environments where they're listening to speech. And so there are lots of advancements that happen with hearing aids routinely. I tell patients I typically see a pretty appreciable difference in technology about every two years. Um, one of those things, there's actually a new product that had come out and it's actually being launched this month. We had the opportunity to have a, a rep come out actually to our house because we didn't have childcare that night. So oh, nice. she was a good sport. <laughs> um, but she was, you know, we're sitting in our dining room and we have kind of an open concept. You know, it's all one room, like kitchen, dining room, living room. And so she's like, okay, I'm gonna have you put these hearing aids on and let's test them out in here. Because this new feature inside of this is looking at giving us even more specific highlight of multiple people talking mm -hmm. in situations where ordinarily you might have to really focus on one person. But this is letting us have kind of a spotlight on multiple speakers. So I was wearing them, hmm. she was talking, Tyler was talking, my kids were running around, the television was on. <laughs> like it was a challenging hmm. environment, something that would ordinarily be yeah. difficult for people to hear in. And I was like, 
amazed at mm. how much better I was doing in there. And I don't have much in the way of hearing loss. I have mm. a little bit of a low frequency loss, but I said to her, I need a pair of these for myself <laughs> because I noticed what a big difference I'm able <coughs> to do. But those new features, that new technology, yeah. <coughs> they are always trying to drive innovation to help address those patient concerns. Wow. So don't put it off. No, oh, don't. and you know what else we should do today? Wow. We should say hi to Tyler, Dylan, and Emerson all tuned in. The rest of the Bogues yep. holding <laughs> family holding business for sure. Yes. <laughs> yes. And and uh, Dylan, get better soon. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me, Thank guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. From Community Hearing Center in Jackson on Fourth Street, Dr. Kelly Bogue. More of the morning show with the folks from Vandercook Lake Schools coming up next. It's time to invest in you. At Jackson College, you get the quality education you deserve, surrounded by a community you'll love. Grow your skill set through flexible courses and different learning opportunities. Discover new career paths. Find your passion, all at a price that you can afford. Whether you're a recent high school graduate, continuing your education, or interested in learning something new, Jackson College has the perfect options for you. Jackson College. You belong here. We can't wait to meet you. Family owned and operated make professional tree care your choice when it comes to your property. Our certified arborist will examine your landscape and handle all your trimming and maintenance needs. From tree removal to tree trimming and stump grinding to lock clearing, PTC gets the job done. Professional tree care is proud to serve members of the Jackson community using cutting edge equipment and your satisfaction is our guarantee. Visit us online at ptcjackson.com or call 517-499-2820. Life can be a whirlwind of responsibilities, leaving little time for what truly matters, quality family time. With Keeping It Clean, your trusted residential cleaning partner, our dedicated team will work tirelessly to ensure your home is clean so you don't have to lift a finger. We give you back the precious gift of time, more moments for laughter, and time to cherish memories with your loved ones. Call us at 517-990-5772 to book your cleaning today. Keeping It Clean, a clean home for a happy family. At Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More, we know how important family is. That's why we've been a family-owned and operated business since 2009. As an authorized Daikin dealer, we're dedicated to providing the best heating and cooling services for your family's comfort. So, don't sweat the heat or shiver in the cold. Let our family keep yours cozy all year long. The secret is out. Jackson is a great place to live, work, and raise a family. We are people with community pride, school spirit, and deep roots. The secret is out. Jackson has great parks, home to some of the best golf in the country and boasts more lakes than you can count. With unique locally owned shops and restaurants, we have a little something for everyone. Hey Jackson, the secret is out. The Heather Herndon team with Howard Hanna Real Estate Services, serving the Jackson community since 2005. Our show today is brought to you by Professional Tree Care. Give Professional Tree Care a call today. It's a great time of year to get some of those tree limbs and shrubs away from your house for the next winter storm so you don't have a uh, electrical issue and you have to pay a lot of money out of pocket. Call PTC at 499-2820. The Center for Family Health has appointments open right now for sports physicals. Give them a call. The Center for Family Health has been opening the door to health care for all for more than 30 years. Joining us now from Vandercook Lake Schools, we have the campus principal of the middle school and high school, Melissa Bradfield, and the Townsend Elementary principal, Jamie Stanley. Good, good, morning. Morning. good morning. Good morning. It's an exciting week at VCL. It is. Homecoming week. Is that fun for the administrators and teachers too? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah. Kids are in a better mood, right? Yes. Yeah. Dress up days every day. Teachers love that too. So what's today's theme? Today's tie dye. Oh okay, oh, tie dye. Very we'll, nice. we'll change. We'll later. be changing after this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got called out this morning. <laughs> What's your tie dye? Uh, do they still sell French fries at the football games? It, dep it depends who's running the concession uh, stand. But it's one of their features. Yeah. Has yeah. been. Yeah, mm -hmm. it has been. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, 
Homecoming week, all kinds of excitement uh, in the schools, and today we wanted to look at some of the uh, things happening so far this uh, school year, and you guys brought along some photos, and we actually have some photos too from uh, JTV Sports. What's, uh, what's happening? We got some high school action here. Yeah, we are looking at um, one of our new AP cl uh, classes. This is AP Environmental Science, kids working in groups. Our kids, uh, are they, now that we're in October, is everyone kind of in the routine? Yeah. It feels like September went by so fast. Yeah. It did. It did. Uh, we've done senior signs this cool. year, so that was our senior advisor, Mrs. Curtis. Um, NHS just got inducted the other week, so we've got some new members that are volunteering. And this is something I'm going to do today, this afternoon, is take around some game day signs to Vandercook nice. community businesses that have supported us. Just want to see all those signs out on McDivitt Ave and Francis. Some science students putting together some biochem mod models. This was last night. We had a Jackson County Band invitation. Yeah, it was we, our 29th we were at that. It's annual. Amazing. Um, so a couple of the kids. Uh, it was a great night. Beautiful night. Yeah. Uh, eight different schools and Adrian College too. Uh, you'll recognize Liv. She plays for Jackson County um, or uh, Jackson College. And so our eighth graders went and visited her um, and watched her play in the game. And this, I, I think this is your second year, uh, Melissa, as uh, principal of the- Third. Third year, wow. Yeah. Time flies. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about why these, are, these type of things are so important. Uh, you know, having the kids go see a college athlete that went to school where they went. Oh, absolutely. They just look up to her. She's mm -hmm. a great role model and seeing, you know, where they can end up in the next few years. and. Uh, being able to see the college level uh, athletes too, which yeah. was nice about Adrian College coming last night. Although yeah. all of our band students could see, you know, some potential in what they could do at college too. Yeah, it's nice you guys have a really close relationship with uh, Jackson College. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. They're just neighbors yeah. down the road. Yeah. Uh, the middle school or uh, the uh, elementary school, uh, Townsend, has been a very popular uh, schools of choice school for very uh, it is yeah. we are we're very lucky um, we've had uh, just a some growth this year we get to hire new teachers which we always love because you know they're coming in the door they love our school um, lots of positive buzz going about my building and um, I'm all for it it looks I love like it. it looks like a great place to uh, to come and learn yeah we just got a ten thousand dollar grant last year and was able to purchase new library furniture so they all have fun seats um, during their library time. Has Tracy Louder been to that library? He has seen it, yes okay, he has. Good. Um, we also have started building up our youth sports programs and so these are our little competitive cheer girls. They had our first competition last weekend and we have a really strong football program building up these kids to feed them into the middle school, high school when they get a little bit bigger. Yeah. Lots yeah. of practice. Um, we do a lot of center-based learning and play-based learning in our younger programs. So these are some of our kindergartner time. Um, you know, we have lots of creative ways that students can express their learning skills. And another thing that we've been blessed to do is open the doors again and involve our parents and our community. This was Grandparents Day a couple weeks ago. Um, it was just a great turnout, lots of fun. The Junior Jayhawk made it, so everybody had a really good time. We also have a therapy dog in our building this year, which yes. the students love. She's fully trained. Um, so we see her in the building a lot, and a lot of our older students have really embraced her and used her to help calm. They read to her. Um, she's just a wonderful addition to our building this year. Now, do you have uh, like preschool, those little? Uh... Those, we actually, um, another pro uh, programs we have, so we house birth, through sixth grade now in my building. Oh, we wow. have learning programs starting um, as young as three years old. We have Head Start, we have GSRP, um, as well as um, our K-6. So, awesome. And then we have our baby room, we call it the baby room, which is birth through um, two and a half years, I believe. So uh, with homecoming week, exciting time for the uh, students, does it lead up to anything at the end of the week? Do we have, uh, yeah. what do we have, do we have a dance? Oh, of course. Uh, Thursday, we have our football game. Yep. Um, we're 
playing a varsity team, but we're still a JV team yeah. this year. Uh, so Thursday is our game at 6.30. We've got a big pep rally that uh, we're busing some of the elementary students over nice. for. Um, yeah. Friday, we've got a community parade <laughs> at 5.30. Um, so there's a lot of different businesses that are gonna be in the parade. It should be a great a great night. And then, of course, the dance from it that starts at eight for the high schoolers. Nice. Nice, who are you playing, do you know? Uh, Potterville. Oh, Potterville. All right, Potterville. Plan to lose. <laughs> Homecoming should be a uh, should be a wonderful uh, wonderful crowd. Let's take a look at some sports picks that we've had so far this year. The Jayhawks out on the golf course. Yeah, they're in their uh, Cascade Conference today. Yeah. It's so busy being a high school student, isn't it? Yeah. It's just amazing. And in a small school, a lot of dual athletes. Yeah. Um, so they're busy. Yeah. yeah. A lot of work on the parents too, right? Yes, running them around, practices. Mm -hmm. You have a very involved uh, community when it comes to uh, parent and family participation mm -hmm. in uh, school activities. Yeah, you should have seen the, well, if you were at the band invitation last night, it was packed. So yeah. It was nice yeah, to see. We I wasn't, but uh, we have some great photos from Jeff Steers online at JTV.TV, so uh, check those out. We have been very lucky to um, Speaking of parent involvement, they have just stepped up this year. They want to be in the buildings. They want to help. Um, they want to contribute their time and support the learning and the social um, activities as well. And so we're really lucky. We have a small community, but we are tight and, mm -hmm. you know, we're just growing leaps and bounds. So it's very exciting. Good, good things happening at uh, VCL for sure. Yes. Uh, we have a uh, benefit show coming up October 20th. Tell us about yes. this. So Travis is a former graduate yeah, of what, Vanderbilt. Yeah, what's his last name? Masco. That's right, yes. Uh, he has um, some, a lot of illness going on, so uh, some significant uh, bills. So uh, one of the contacts um, is, has set up this benefit for him on October 20th. So um, Jamie and I both have tickets in our buildings for folks to purchase. Um, they can also do Venmo. Um, with them, uh, but it should be a great night. Uh, I think there's at least 10 pro wrestlers coming to wrestle, and a guest wrestler from someone in our in our community. So really, that, that'll be a, oh boy. a, a surprise. It'll be a surprise yeah, for surprise. the night of. Yeah. Are you going to so. wheel out the lunch tables? So that is A and A Market going <laughs> to cater this thing? <laughs> Scott, are you going to cater? <laughs> So, so that should be cool. It'll be, It'll be fun. Night. Nice. Yeah. So benefit to uh, to help one of your own. Very yes. cool. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. In fact, um, I think we've had um, a couple of pro wrestlers who come come from Vanderbilt. Yeah, for so, sure. Uh, big strong uh, wrestling, wrestling fan mm -hmm. community that I'm sure will. Uh, and it's at the gym. You're gonna. It's in the high school gym. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Gym. Yeah. And that is again. That's on October 20th. Mm -hmm. That should be a fun event. Yeah. You mentioned uh, you've got some new staff. Was there a lot of uh, new faces uh, amongst teachers and staff at uh, your, both of your buildings? I, this year, no, um, just, a, just uh, one teacher and a couple para pros, but I was lucky to retain um, most of our staff this year, and I have a lot of veterans and three doctors on staff. So three doctors? Yes. Oh, two, wow. two of them are leading our um, AP programs oh, for the, at the high school. So. Yeah, wow. but we're, we are doing, moving forward, yeah. doing great things. Fun week. And the new faces are in my building, our new hires, mm -hmm. um, due to the growing sizes of classes. That's great. So we're very lucky. Yeah, up to uh, 400 students. We're getting there. K we're through six. Close. That's awesome. Yeah. We're pretty close, yeah. It mm -hmm. is exciting. Wow. So if someone gets an elbow to the head, you've got three doctors that will rush <laughs> to the scene? <laughs> well, they'll rush, but I'm not sure they'll be able to all help. Yeah. <laughs> right? They'll take turns. <laughs> Well, we wish you continued uh, success in the rest thank of the you. school year. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Have a great week. Thanks. It'll be a fun week. Homecoming <laughs> week. Yeah. Vander Cook Lake Elementary Principal at Townsend Elementary, Jamie Stanley, and Middle School High School Principal, Melissa Bradfield. More of the morning show right after this. Kibbe Cobb Deli, open seven days a week, offers a wide variety of signature sandwiches, 
soups, flatbread pizza, gourmet hot dogs on homemade hot dog buns, bagel sandwiches, deli meats, sides, and much more. Check us out on Facebook for the complete menu. And just a couple storefronts down is the Iron Bark Brewing Company. This is a popular spot for terrific craft beers, the same amazing food as offered at Kibbe Cobb Deli, live music, and great people. Kibbe Cobb Deli and Iron Bark Brewing Company, both located on Kibbe Road in Jackson. Kelly Express Marts are conveniently located throughout South Central Michigan with convenient hours of operation. We pride ourselves on our fast and friendly service to get you going on your way. We're here when you need us. Full service and fully stocked stores, fresh hot premium coffee, and cappuccino. All Kelly Express Marts are staffed with friendly, knowledgeable people committed to providing the highest level of service. Kelly Express Mart. <laughs> It's 5 a.m. and I feel like I can do anything. We've got apples and cabbage, 7,000 dahlias, vegetables, and brisket for dinner. Oh, <laughs> We've been coming here since 1868. There's a lot of cushy desk jobs out there, but this is my happy place. There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. How will you make the most of yours? Visit Napoleon Lawn and Leisure today or find them online at napoleonlawn.com. Napoleon Lawn and Leisure, your local John Deere dealer for over 30 years. His voice has touched millions as a member of the Gaither Vocal Band and on his popular solo albums. Now's your chance to experience David Phelps he was born in concert Sunday, October 8th at Potter Center at Jackson College. I'm home. Tickets are available at the Potter Center box office and online. He's alive. After the Downbeat with David Phelps. Sunday, October 8th at Potter Center at Jackson College. When surgery is recommended, know that you have a choice. As a local independent orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Robert Doan can provide procedures others can't, as well as utilize the equipment and implant choices that are best for you. Get a first or second opinion at Jackson Orthopedic Specialists. My family and I have lived in Jackson for 18 years. We support the local community extensively. If you have any orthopedic problems, please call and we would love to care for you. The Jackson NAACP Freedom Fund Banquet is coming up. It is the 82nd annual. When is it, Bart? 82nd annual at Sunday at the Gene Davis Banquet Center. Wonderful. And uh, you and I will be there as well. Yes. So it should be a uh, wonderful time. Keynote speaker and, uh, of course, food. You can still get tickets by uh, emailing or uh, calling the numbers on your screen, or you can actually get them at the door Sunday afternoon. With us now, we'd like to welcome the owner of Ducks of Mid-Michigan and Homesteady of Greater Jackson, Doug Warren. Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Thanks for having me on. Good morning. Welcome back. Yes, welcome back. It's been a, uh, a busy summer for you. Yes, it has. Very busy. Um, I've seen a lot, of, uh, a lot of the trucks out on the road, uh, both Homesteady and Ducks. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been, been a good year? It's, it's been very busy. Yeah, yeah. We're very blessed. Yeah. Yeah, is this uh, a good time of year to mm -hmm. do the duck cleaning? Yes. Kind of approaching uh, the closed in winter season? Yeah, this is our busiest time of year for uh, residential duck cleaning, uh, as you can imagine. Although, you know, the summer's holding on, right? <laughs> yeah. Lucky us. Um, as soon as it starts to cool off, the first is kick on, people smell the dust, it hits their igniter blower, and they'll give us a jingle. So yeah. we really pick up this time of year when it comes to ducks. Yeah, when you turn that uh, furnace on. Uh, what happens if, I mean, there's so many, I've talked to people and no, I've never had my ducks clean. What happens over time, 30, 40 years, um, people just get used to it, but they don't know they're breathing very low quality air. Yeah. Uh, as you can imagine, the analogy I like to use is like everybody's a desktop computer, right? Mm -hmm. You could dust all the time, keep, keep your office immaculate, but you look at that back of that desktop computer and that fan is always full of dust. Yes, it is. Right? And the same thing happens with your HVAC system. Now, if you change your filter and you stay on top of it, it'll, it'll, it'll uh, you know, it'll make it stretch out, you know, yeah. to get it clean as often. But it does slowly accumulate with dust. And then, you know, the more dust is inside the system, it becomes impacted in the filter and the dirt starts to just flow through it. Mm -hmm. And it just, it just accumulates over time. And yeah. you get pet dander in there, you know, 
uh, ash, body ash, all this stuff just kind of sticks under that mm -hmm. pet dander and it just holds it. And every time the system kicks on, you're breathing that in. And so uh, during times of the year where it's running a lot, like the middle of the summer or the middle of the winter, the EPA says it runs up to seven times an, an hour. So you're just breathing mm -hmm. that yeah. contaminated air in repeatedly. Yeah. It's a lot of uh, smells that uh, you walk into a house you're hit with. Uh, <laughs> cooking <laughs> is one thing. <laughs> yeah. But once you have your ducks clean, it's amazing. Yeah, uh, it's fresh. Smell, it's just a fresh, uh, brand yeah. new smell. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, and we, we recommend getting them clean every three to five years. Okay. If you've hired us in the past, though, we will actually come out and do a free inspection. Nice. We'll open the system back up. We'll take photos and let you know if you're ready or not. So it just kind of depends on how many people live in the house, how many pets you have, and how often you need to have it done. I know you guys do a lot of dryer vent cleaning, and it's not lifting up the lint trap and cleaning it. It's actually cleaning that vent. Yeah. You guys did my house. It's amazing what can get built up over time. Yeah. And that's just a fire hazard that is very easily preventable. Absolutely. With, it's pretty inexpensive as well. A absolutely. And that's something you should probably have annually if you've got a normal family. Uh, you know, if your if your dryer's taking more than one cycle to dry your clothes, mm -hmm. something's going on, and 90% of the time it's the line mm -hmm. and not the dryer. And people will run out and replace their dryer and not realize, didn't realize they just needed to have their yeah. their line cleaned. You probably done that. Well, I, I know you do laundry all the time. Yes, it's non stop. Non stop. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, we have three kids. It's, like you said, normal constant. family. I mean, yeah. I don't know what a normal family's laundry is. I mean, <laughs> we do laundry daily. Every day, right? Yeah. I mean, With in this kids. day and age. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, your other business, Homesteady. Um, you know, you've got a lot of copycats out there right now, I've noticed, <laughs> but you guys have been around for quite a while and uh, you guys have done some work for us. Um, talk a little bit about um, some of the things that you guys do uh, yeah. on the home study side. So, so we're a handyman company. I mean, so we will do small projects, we'll do larger projects, we'll do bathroom remodels. Uh, but we like to really specialize in doing a lot of the small things mm -hmm. that other contractors don't want to deal with. Right. And so you'll call, you know, maybe call your guy and he, maybe he'll answer the phone. He won't. We will always answer the phone. We will always show up when we say we're going to show up. Um, and we'll do the small projects like, mm -hmm. you know, we specialize in, we'll go out and we'll take, we'll help the elderly or we'll help the sure. people who are just too busy. Uh, we'll go up and, you know, we'll just clean off chandeliers or sure. we'll, we'll swap out bulbs for you. We'll clean gutters, you know, just any little project that you, that you don't have the time for or can't physically do any longer. We're happy to come out and take care of those. That's right. Yeah. Things like uh, ceiling fans. Yeah. Those pick up a lot of dust and grime over. Uh, Will you guys install TVs? Yep. Will you we take away times. old TVs? <laughs> we'll do that as well, yes. Yep. We'd be happy to. Of course. Well, we I, I wouldn't recommend anyone taking this old one. <laughs> this big, big heavy one? You might want to send some kids. <laughs> you might want to send some kids. Great time of year, too, to button up some of those projects as, uh, as we're going to be in our house a lot for winter. Some of yeah. those eyesores are going to start Absolutely. to stick out. You have a lot of family gatherings over the holidays. Uh, some inexpensive repairs can really clean up the house for the look of your guests. Yeah, and the funny thing I always mention to people is everybody's got that eyesore, right? It's like you walk in your house and you're always like, Ugh. I hate that thing. I yeah. gotta get that replaced yeah. or I gotta fix that. Everybody's got those. I mean, I have them in my house and I own a handyman company and so, <laughs> you know, I make a list and then, you know, when my guys aren't busy, I might send a guy out or I'll actually yeah. get off my butt and do it myself. But um, that's what we specialize in. Now, when you moved, did you bring all the junk with you, or did you? <laughs> we did not, and that's, I guess that's the nice thing about moving every several years. You know, I think, I think we've moved like every five, six years since my wife and I got married. Uh, that's the nice thing about it is you go, okay, we're not using this any longer. Get this rid of it. Away. Yeah. We have a guy that we, that we really, really like. We'll call Ray, and he'll come over, and he'll just pick all this stuff up. I think I gave you Ray's number. Dude, he's a great dude. I think I gave he's you awesome. Ray's number. He's a I great guy. I think we should call Ray. Oh, I love well, Ray. Well, we call him study and have him send Ray over. No, Ray actually is my guy. I'll send him to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I gave you Ray. No, Ray's solid. He is. Yeah. If you ever need anything removed, call Doug or I, and we'll give you Ray's number. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, that's it. I think uh, people want to make some changes, maybe get rid of some of that uh, summer stuff they don't need anymore and clear it out. Yeah. yeah. And you Damn. work, you work with a lot of local contractors. I know you're a member of the JCCA yeah. and, uh, it's a pretty good town as far as people working together. Oh, absolutely. I mean, for both of my businesses, you know, we're always using local guys. We're, we're in both the BNI chapters here in mm -hmm. town for both of our companies. And so, you know, uh, we'll use, we'll use the heating and cooling guys. We use electricians. Um, we use the plumbers. Mm -hmm. We use everybody, and it's it's really neat. And you know, so with ducks, we run in the projects, and we'll 
we'll shoot those over to those guys. Same thing on the home steady side. Something pretty cool that's not really the GCCA that we're doing right now with ducks is we're actually traveling around the country cleaning uh, HVAC systems and post offices. Oh, wow. So we started out and we did the one here on Elm, and then we went up and did Flint. Okay. And so we had told this company, we're like, hey, we'll, we'll travel for these if you're having a hard time finding contractors to do this. And so now we're, we're in Stockton, California right now. Wow. Then we're headed wow. down to That's Phoenix. where the motorcycle gangs are. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw that show. Uh, and then we're uh, headed down to Phoenix. We'll be nice. in Phoenix for a few weeks, and then we're going to be in Florida the rest of the year. Wow. Um, Amazing. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. That's good Did you find any old mail on the ducks? Uh, no, I don't think so. I, I, haven't told, I haven't told the guy some of the weird stuff that you can find in the duct work in, uh, down in the desert. Yeah, in those yet. cities <laughs> too, right? Oh, a little yeah. different. Yeah. Awesome. Well, congrats on all the success and look forward to seeing you soon interviewing our scholar athletes yeah, uh, of the week. So, Doug Warren, owner of Ducks of Mid Michigan and Homesteady of Greater Jackson. More of the show right after this quick break. Unforgettable memories. Cascadesmanor.com. The Pick Center is an independent practice that has provided care to the Jackson area for over 25 years. Doctors O'Neill and CAC supervise antibiotic infusions, as well as those for many other conditions, such as inflammatory bowel, joint, and lung disease, anemia, and multiple sclerosis. Our modern facility is open seven days a week, and the infusion staff will make you feel right at home. Let your doctor know you have a choice where you receive your next infusion. Remember, when you've picked us, you've picked the best. At Consumers Energy, we believe change is imagining. Change is big, small, clean. Him, them, us, you. Together, we can bring clean energy to Michigan and protect the environment for generations to come. Learn about your clean energy choices and how you can become a force of change. Consumersenergy.com slash change. Our new Express Oil Changes and More building has been a huge success. Not only do we have the best oil change prices, we top off fluids and do a 33-point inspection. All while you enjoy fresh baked cookies, coffee, and popcorn in our new lounge. This month is our Jeep Freedom Day sales event with special pricing on all new Jeeps. Stop out to Extreme Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Jackson just off I-94 exit 141 or online at ExtremeDodge.com. Oh, yeah. I saw an old uh, ad uh, last night. I thought, oh, that's something that we should be able to buy today. It's armrests you can buy for your car. Oh, damn. Isn't that neat? Uh, so back when we had the bench seats, those need to come back too. Yeah, three people in the front. Yeah. Oh, I was always uncomfortable. What did you call that middle seat, Brandon? Uh, the hump. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, do you remember the pickup trucks? You'd ride three deep. Yeah. A lot of fun, sometimes And those deep. little windows that you could open. The little yeah. Thing. Tomorrow morning, Jeff Beal, Dr. Alan Lazara, and Dave Rice joining us. It should be a great morning show. Which D. Rice? Uh, David Rice's father. Oh, wow. Big Later Dave. today, we have uh, Tony Hollow, internationally renowned artist, Dominic Pangborn, along with Harrison Marcotte, Christy Terrell, and we're going to visit CryoHealth all later today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at 1.